Hello, this is Eric, one of the Deposition Coordinators at the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Centre. Today I'm going to tell you about our free structured deposition service. Once you have performed an experiment and you have a SIF file which you would like to deposit and ultimately share with the community, we invite you to come to our homepage at ccdc.cam.ac.uk to deposit your structures using our free web deposition portal. The portal can be found here by clicking on Deposit Structures. To deposit your structures, first you will need to register or sign in with your CCDC account. Once you have logged in, you can then see the web deposition form. You will need to enter certain information, such as your name, especially your last name, your email address, as well as your institution. You can even add your ORCID ID, so that your data will then be linked with your ID and your other publications. You will then want to choose a file to deposit. As you can see, the accepted file types are SIF, FCF, HKL and ZIP files. For this demonstration, I will be depositing this SIF here. Which, as you can see, does not contain the structure factor files. So simply click on select files and find the document you want to deposit. And that's uploaded now. And once you have uploaded your file, you then have the choice to run the IUCR's check SIF service on your data. This service will examine and check your data for errors and inconsistencies. Once you have uploaded your data and filled out the information, you can then click Proceed to Next Step. Since we did not deposit any structure factor files, we are shown this message. This step has been introduced to encourage users to deposit their structure factor files in order to provide as complete data as possible. If you receive this message, you then have two choices. You can either return to the previous page and upload structure factor files, or give an explanation on why you have not provided structure factor files. For example, you could write something such as However, for this example, I will return to the deposition page by clicking Upload and Add Structure Factor Files since I have them. So simply select File again. At this point, I will also take the opportunity to add another SIF file, which I would like to deposit. This SIF file, as you can see, has the Structure Factor Files embedded in the SIF. So I will upload this data. So as you can see, with our deposition form, you can deposit more than one SIF at a time. So once I've uploaded this, I will tick again to run the check SIF report and then proceed to next step. As you can see, you can view the check SIF report immediately. So it gets validated and you can view the report. This report gives an overview of your data, including alerts where there are errors in your data. These errors are color coded. So here we have a level A alert describing an error in the bond length. Here we have a, another level B alert, a level C alert and a level G alert. So these are color coded and there's also a key explaining the severity of these alerts. Back on the deposition form, you then have an opportunity to provide a response to these errors. So here you can give an explanation of why these errors might have occurred in the CheckSIF report. 
These responses will then become embedded in the SIF which you deposit. You can then proceed to the next step. At this point you can add bibliographic details to your structures. With our form you do not need to add full publication details. For example, if you are depositing data before your work has been published, you can simply add the publication information which you know at the time of deposition. For instance, you may only know the journal to which you are submitting your work. In this case, you would just add the journal name and that will be enough information for you to deposit your data. At this point, you also have the opportunity to publish your data immediately as a CSD communication. If you do not intend to publish your structure in a journal, by clicking the CSD communication button, your structure will be published by the CCDC and will become available to the community as soon as you deposit your data. However, in this case, I do not want to publish data, so I'll put this back to the Journal of the American Chemical Society and that will remain unpublished once deposited. Here you can add the crystallographer details. In this way they will receive credit for their work even if they are not a contributing author to the paper in which your structure is published. So once you've entered the publication details you can tick the terms and conditions and proceed to the next step. In this next step you have the chance to further enhance your data. Here you can view the files which you have deposited, you can add extra information such as compound name, melting point and any extra information you provide will automatically be added to your deposited SIF. So then when you are happy with your data you can then move on. And this is the final step, this is the step to confirm that you would like to submit your data and by clicking submit the data will arrive to us to be processed. For more information on the deposition service you can visit our help and support page where you can find useful FAQs about this service. So thank you for your attention, I hope this webinar was useful and we look forward to receiving your deposition soon.